Hello everyone, and welcome back to Hate Plus. Okay, once again I'm anxious. This is day three of the female mute route. And I'm pretty sure she will still have killed herself. Pretty sure, yeah. Well, let's find out. I really suspect there just isn't a way to save her. Yep, look, she's not here. <sighs> Farewell, yep. Ah, <sighs> damn it. I'm sure it's just the same message as before, right? Oh, wait, actually, wait, this is a little bit different. Hold on. Yeah, this is a little bit different. Farewell, Miss Investigator. I kind of knew deep down, from the start, that I could never really be your wife. Someone like you deserved... Someone like you never deserved a worthless failure of a security program like me. But thanks for trying. Have a safe trip on Earth, okay? <sighs> I think it's probably the only thing that's different. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Alright. <sighs> okay. I feel so bad for Mute. Alright, emergency diagnostic. I really like how the music's all kind of broken sounding to fit what just happened. Reinitializing memory data. Done! Okay, okay. What the hell is going on? Alright, we're back to the new mute. Huh. <sighs> I'm clearly not where I'm supposed to be. Sorry, hang on. Let me get my bearings, okay? <laughs> I love all the expressions that she goes through. Okay, I think I got the important parts. I'm mute, AI in charge of the gung with security operations. But, well, I guess that ship sailed, huh? Okay. Directive marked as impossible. Moving on. Anyway, hi. It's nice to meet you. I'm really sorry about the construct who was here before me. To tell you the truth, I'm a little bit scared right now. This is not what I was expecting. This is so far out of normal operating parameters. Her memories are wiped for good. I wish I'd even those to go off, but I've got nothing. Just like the same documents you can see. Also, like... Software Bride Mute? Seriously? Truly, this is the weirdest of possible futures. <laughs> yeah, uh, fair enough. Software Bride Mute. That's gotta look a little bit strange, huh? But, okay. Right, dialogue options. I need to actually get your feedback here. It's important. So, um... Shoot. What do I even ask? Were you too close? Okay, well, before I said we met only two days ago, but... In this playthrough, I was trying to make her my wife. I was trying to see how that would work. So, yeah, I'm gonna go with she was my wife. Let's go down that route and see what happens. Oh, right. Of course. I'm really sorry. Well, I guess now all you've got left of her is me. I guess maybe out of respect? I should use something to differentiate my name. Okay, how about this? Better? New Mute. I know this is all really sudden, but like... You don't hurt her- you don't hold her being gone against me, right? I don't, um, but... I keep finding myself very curious about where these dialogue options would lead. Like, what if I said I have no attachment to you? Or you can't replace her? In all of my playthroughs, I've always treated her pretty damn well. Actually, very well, frankly. What if I just treated her like shit? I really don't want to. I'm uncomfortable doing that, but what if I did? How would she react? 
I might go back to test it. Yeah, you know, I'll go back and test this at the end of the episode, provided I don't forget. But for now, I'm just going to go with what I feel is right. Of course not. Thanks. I'm glad I have at least that much. Even if I can't live up to who she was, I'm still her. Give me a chance, okay? We've got one day until Earth. I've got a lot of stuff to figure out, and I figure, if the old me trusted you, then I can too. Like, right? I can trust you, right? Of course. Thank you. That's something, at least. Also, a uh, side note for the record. This interface sucks. Like, who would ever choose to communicate with something as clumsy as a dialogue wheel? I know, right? Uh, anyway. Okay, so you're reading through log files from the Gungwa, right? Like, why don't we continue to go through those together? I need some time to parse things, and I don't think I'll be able to figure out who I am without getting the whole story. Mute's note. She says that she's a failure of a security program. So what does that make me? What kind of person am I? How can I learn from their mistakes? How can I make sure that the construct that was here before me, the one who trusted you? Well, like, how can I live up to that? I think I can only find out by reading more and doing it with you, the person she trusted. Is that okay? Of course. You know, I just realized. When I mouse over, of course. Look at her. Look at her face. Look at her mouth. She's doing like a totally cat-like little thing with her with her mouth. That's so adorable. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Thanks. And now she has her cat-like grin. <laughs> oh, mute. Okay then, Miss Investigator, lead on. I shall. By the way, let me show you something really awesome. Okay, so when Mute comes back on the third day, she wants to read about, uh, she wants to read documents that are by or reference or have something to do with old Mute. Because she wants to know more about who she was. Given that she's just been reconstructed, you know, and she's trying to figure out where the hell she came from. And she has nothing to go off of except these documents. She really wants to read them. So one of the things you can do in one of the achievements is, um, what is it called? Like Deep Space Therapist or something like that. Which is, uh, you get if you read every single document on day three with Mute. I actually did that off camera because I knew it would be boring to go through all the documents on camera. But yeah, I did it off camera. And there's one particular document that just made me laugh out loud. And let me show you. I just love, love her reaction. How do I do the show all? Uh, let me just search. Alright, here, this. Elegance in her cat-like grin. When you go back with Mute on day three and read this one, look what happens. Well, naturally... Maybe a little too confident. She really was in love with old Mute, wasn't she? Hold on, it's coming, it's coming. Just wait a second. Cat-like grin, huh? Hmm, like this? <laughs> I love that so much. It's so cute, look at this. Ah. God, I love you, Mute. Her cat-like grin is, well, very cat-like and adorable. Okay, let's extract some documents. Okay, where was I? M5? Five? Five? Yeah, 5. M5. Okay. M5, M5, M5. And M5. That finishes off Kim Soo Yi. Start on M6. Okay.
I wonder how the ending's going to be. Like last time, last time with her when I played as uh, playing the male mute route. When I played as a man, I had her as uh, my sidekick, but not my wife. Oh wow, that was quick. Hey, Miss Investigator, let's take a break. Sure. So, Miss Investigator, I want to know more about your job. I know you travel. Uh, travel about in space, solving mysteries and charming girls with dialogue wheels, right? Yep, that sounds about right. I want to travel around space, solving mysteries and charming girls with dialogue wheels. Oh, I, was gonna, I thought I was going to say two. So the way I said that was totally off. Let me try that again. I want to travel around in space, solving mysteries and charming girls with dialogue wheels. That's really cool. <laughs> yes, it is. Well, maybe I could do without the dialogue wheels. Those seem like the kind of interaction model some kind of otaku shut-in would develop. True, it does. But I think it would be great to be the security program for someone like that. Just a little ship like the... <laughs> whatever the hell that is. Would be a good start for me. If you'd have me, of course. I'm sure I could be useful. What if you get infected by some sort of alien virus, or get sucked into some sort of time wormhole, or kidnapped by space pirates looking for a wife? I don't want you to be kidnapped by space pirates looking for wives. That would be really bad. You need mute security systems to keep you safe. Yes, I do. What do you think? Willing to take on a sidekick? S yeah, see... Like, wanting her to be my wife again, when I've only known her for, like, five minutes? <laughs> I mean, I've basically only known her for, like, five minutes. It's a bit weird. But I do want to know where that pathway leads. God, what if I told her to fuck off? It wouldn't work. What the hell? What would the ending be? That'd be so depressing. What would happen to her? I don't know. Let's go with this, though. I take more. Oh, my, my. It sounds like I'm the one who needs a security program. Scandalous. <laughs> I'm just a day old, like, let's take it slow, okay? Yeah, that's, yeah, fair enough. Sorry, sorry. Anyway, to be serious with you, what's your job like? Do you enjoy it? It's great. I'll bet. Cute AI girls. Adventures in space. And dashing rescues. I'm so excited I'll get to solve mysteries together with you. Oh my gosh, she is excited. Holy shit, look at her face. She, she is seriously adorable when she's excited. But anyway, all this talk really just makes me want to continue finding out my whole story. I want to learn who I am with the help of Cool Space Investigator. Lead on. Unread message. Is this... Oh, AI Psychology. Yep. Yeah, at the end of the episode, I am going to try a couple different mini pathways. I'm probably not going to go far with them, but I do want to see where they lead. Wait a minute, I didn't finish reading the documents. No, no, re-enable. Oh, crap, whoops. Actually, can I extract more? Well, I guess I can just extract more and... yeah, alright. Apparently, you do not have to read all of them before you extract them. Okay. Well, top down. Let's go. That's weird. The music seems to be bugging out. Oh, it seems fine now. It just suddenly got like really quiet and then really loud when I clicked on a message. I don't know if you noticed. Oh, 
All right, here's the last one. Hey, let's talk. Okay, um, seriously, software bride mute? Yeah, it's kind of weird, isn't it, mute? But also, you only met her two days ago. Yeah, it's ki it's kind of weird, isn't it? Yeah. Software bride mute. And in love with a person I've only known for like two days. Yep. I don't know. You read that log file that the older version of me left. My Awakening. You know, the one that was about her being activated for the first time after her memories were wiped. Well, that's kind of how I feel right now. I'm kind of scared. Like, I don't want to marry you. That's weird. I agree, it is weird. I mean, uh, I'm sure you're great, and I bet you're pretty hot, too. I totally trust past me's taste in women. It's just, you know, that's way too sudden. I don't even really know what that entails. I'm designed to be an, export, an expert on security, not an expert on interpersonal relationships, after all. Which isn't to say I don't like you. You sound nice. And, like, your job is kind of great. A space investigator all on her own? Yes, please. But, do you think we could have a relationship together? Another place I want to make a save to maybe see where these other options go. <laughs> and there's that little cat-like... Well, not a grin, but a little cat-like mouth thing. I don't even know if... You, can humans even do that? Can you even make a cat-like shape with your lips? I have no idea. I should practice that. Huh. Should I keep pushing for the wife thing? Alright, you know what the hell? I'm gonna keep pushing for the wife thing, even though it's weird to want to be someone's wife when I've only known them for a, less than a day, but let's do it. Oh, jeez. Thanks. I'm going to take that as a yes, then. I just think it would be so much easier for me to figure things out with the support of a friend, you know? Like, I think I can make a good sidekick. I can't even imagine what it would be like to have the confidence of old mute. But until the end, even the version of me you knew had a lot of confidence. Well, actually, even in the end, she was confident in a way, wasn't she? Yeah. She seemed sure of her decision. That she was. Sorry, what do you think of her passing, though? Again, I'm curious where these lead. I'm gonna keep making saves. I'm gonna come back and try some stuff. Right at the end of this right at the end of this episode, by the way, so there's no need to wait too much for that. Cause this is about to end. Uh for now I'm gonna go with what I did before. Yeah, I wish she hadn't. I understand. And it must be really hard on you. I wish I knew what to say, like, to help. Old Mute would have known. But, like, my point is, those two versions of me were totally confident, or were really confident. I want to be like that. It's good to know that I could be. It's good to know that the old version of me was terrified at first, though. And, like, I think it would be good to be your sidekick. If I'm going to learn, I think it'd be good for it to be learning from the last person the old me trusted. And, you know, maybe it could be like a second chance. Well, anyway, I'm just rambling. Let's get back to reading now. Actually, that was the last thing. Wait, wasn't it? Wait, wasn't that the last one? I... Oh. Apparently when I extracted the documents, it only showed me the ones I had just extracted, not all unread messages. Interesting. Oh, wow. Okay, New Mute even doesn't have a very high opinion of Hyone. Ugh, I don't want to read about that mass murderer. Like, Mute wouldn't have died if not for her. Unforgivable. Alright, here's the last one. Okay, that's all of it, I guess. 
Okay, that's it. We're pretty much out of power, so that's going to have to be the end of it for the day. And then tomorrow? Earth. But like, we're going to figure out a better way to interact than this dumb stupid dialogue wheel thing, right? I am so sick of putting words into your mouth. But I think... Well, okay, actually, why don't you tell me what you think first? What's your conclusion, Miss Investigator? Ah, it's back to this, where I don't like any of the options. She just said that she doesn't want to put words in my mouth, and then she goes ahead and puts words in my mouth with this freaking dialogue wheel. Like, come on. Ah, another save. I already know that Mute believes this is true. It was all Mute's fault. Hmm. Okay, what the hell happens if you do this? Yana and Ryu were right, which is totally wrong, but let's see what happens. Yeah, and that's what the old version of me would have said, right? Even after the lies, she believed in that. I can't ignore that, like, that's really powerful. And like, given all that we've read about, what kind of society would just stand by and let Kim So Yi be put in a position to be hurt like that? What kind of people would leave women like Hyo Ai Chong and Mei Chen'a to fend for themselves? What kind of childhood did a girl like So High have, raised by maids? Like, okay, there were problems in the New Dynasty. A lot of men and women were terrible to each other. There was still so much hate, you know? But, I don't know. Like, I'd always rather have someone to depend on. I kind of need that, you know? I don't know if it's the best solution. Like, I don't know if it's even a good one. I'm just a one-day-old AI, I don't know. But Emperor Taijo and Queen Yana believed in harmony and stability, and those things are important. Well, I can agree with that, at least. So I think I understand why the Construct who was here before me would still support them after all that. Anyway, I guess that's just how it is. I'm really looking forward to being together with you, though. I have a lot to learn, still, and I'm going to count on you to be a good companion. I'm sure we'll be great together, though. I've already learned so much from our little investigation together in just one day. Like, here's what I do know, though. I don't believe in second chances. I don't believe in clean breaks. You can't just ignore what happened in the past. You can't just say, it's better not knowing. If there's one thing I've learned from the Construct who is here before me, is that you can't just have a clean start. And that's the sort of thing that gets the entire population of the Magungwa killed. When Old Mute wrote her last message to be read after her memory was wiped, she said herself, You're me. I'm not a different person. I'm her. And that's what I believe, anyway. Like, it's okay if you don't, but I know that's what she'd want from me. I'm Old Mute. I betrayed Hyo So Young, a woman who loved me for who I used to be and had my memories wiped. I'm the construct who you met. I stupidly underestimated what a traumatized little girl from the past could do and decided I couldn't live with myself. Those aren't things that other people did. They're things I did. I'm going to learn from my mistakes. I'm going to have a new job, being your sidekick, but like, that doesn't mean I'm a new person. I'm Mute, AI in charge of your ship's security operations. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too, Mute. Thank you so much for all you've done for me. Let's work hard together on Earth. Okay, so... Is this ending going to be different? No, I think this is the same ending. Mute comes along with me as my sidekick. Right, and then she's a hologram here, I think. Yeah, that's actually the same ending. Mute sidekick ending. Oh, and there's achievement, red and gold. Huh. Okay, so let's let's explore some of those other options. All right, um, seventeen. Where's this one? Okay, yeah, let's explore where these go. I'm really curious. You don't hold her being gone against me, right? Hmm. 
Hmm. I have no attachment to you. That's a very cold thing to say. Let's see what happens. Please, don't say something like that. Even if I can't live up to who she was, I'm still her. Give me a chance, okay? We've got one day until Earth. I've got a lot of stuff to figure out, and I figure if the old me trusted you, then I can too. Okay, so it's back to this. Okay, I'm just gonna be a dick to her. I feel bad doing it, but I I want I'm curious what's gonna happen. So I'm just gonna be a total dick. Better not to. Well, okay, that's a weird thing to say. Yes, it is. But I don't really have a lot of choice in the matter, do I? For the... Uh, yeah. I know, dialogue wheels, man. Ridiculous. Um... Yeah, it's all the same so far. Is there another option? Okay, see, so yeah, I've, I've yet another chance to be a dick to her. Just stay out of the way. God, I feel so bad doing this. Well, you're the one who's in charge. Uh -huh. All right, let's let's see if that affects the ending. So I'm gonna go through this super fast. Very, very, very fast. Just grab everything right now and get through it. I'm really surprised I'm being such a completionist. I really am normally not a completionist. Well, I mean, well, I kind of am. I'm usually a completionist in that I like to see... I like to see everything a game... Oh, she wants to talk. Um, I like to see everything a game has to offer, but I usually don't like to do that by going back and playing through the same things. Like, it just usually means that I like to explore the environments fully. You know, look at every note in the environment, if there's notes in the environments, and do all the side quests and that sort of thing. It usually doesn't make me actually go... I usually don't go back and do multiple endings and stuff like that. I don't know why I'm doing it for this game, but for some reason I want to. Okay, so now I can be a dick to her again, I think. Yeah, suffer by mute. Do you think we'd still have a relationship together? God, I feel terrible doing this. Sorry, no. Okay, God. I hope you reconsider by tomorrow. But I understand, and that's fair enough. What do you think of her passing, though? Hmm. Let me save again here. I can just be a total dick again. I hate her for it. Alright, blam. Oh, God. I don't want to do that, but I'm curious. Oh. Like, that's a really harsh thing to say, I know. But I guess it's fair. No, it's not. I'm certainly really upset at her for leaving me here, terrified, in an awkward situation with you. But, like, my point is, those two versions of me were really confident. Okay, this is all the same. Is this AI psychology? Yep. I think I still have more to read, but let me just grab more while I'm here. In fact, let's grab the last ones. Yeah, 13% power. Do you think she's still going to be my sidekick after all of this? I really don't think so.
All right, I think there's five more. Oh, let's take a break. Sure. Now we can be a dick to her even more. God, I feel bad about that. What's your job like? Do you enjoy it? It sucks. Well, I guess I can see that. If all your jobs are reading about things like the Magungwa. Actually, if all my jobs were about reading about things like the Magungwa, it would be fucking depressing as hell, wouldn't it? I'm so sorry about the old version of me. And what she did really hit you hard, didn't it? I don't know what it's like to get invested in someone, then have them suddenly disappear. But it's gotta suck. Maybe lonely work suits you, after all. I don't know. But anyway, all this talk really just makes me want to continue finding out my whole story. Okay. Alright, that's it. Hold on, though. Before I go, guess what I'm gonna do? Cat-like grin? Cat-like grin? Cat-like grin? There it is. <laughs> I can't get over how adorable that cat-like grin is. Ah. <sighs> Okay, that's it. You're pretty much out of power, so that's going to have to be the end of it for the day. Then tomorrow, Earth. I'm kind of terrified. It's a big open world with no real purpose of my own. But I think... Well, okay, actually, why don't you tell me what you think first? What's your conclusion? I'm just going to be a total antisocial dick. I hate everyone equally. I don't agree, but... Like, I think that's fair. I don't. It all comes back to hate, doesn't it? Like, Emperor Taijo and Queen Yana founded a new dynasty on hatred for the way things used to be. Yep, pretty much. And everyone on the Magungwa died because the Pale Bride was filled with hate. You know? It's hate all the way down. Hate self-perpetuating. Hate breaks you down, doesn't it? Maybe hate just isn't a good foundation. Maybe even if the ideals of the new dynasty were good? Maybe even if the old Magungwa was retrograde and unjust? Maybe hate only ends up making more hate. I don't think I can hate everyone. I think they can all be wrong. I think they can all be horrible. But I think hate is the wrong note to start off on, you know? Okay. So I guess I'll ask you one last time, then, and no matter what you say, I'll go along with it. I'm scared. I don't know what to expect on Earth. I mean, I'll survive, I'm sure. I'll figure it out if I have to. But I'm scared, and like, I don't want to be alone. So like, last time, could we please stick together even after we reach Earth? God, I feel horrible doing this! Jesus! Such a horrible thing to do. Ugh. God damn it. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I... I wanna see what happens. Okay, I'm... I'm role-playing. This isn't me. I'm not very good at role-playing. In fact, I'm so bad that every single option I, f I choose feels like it's my own. I just can't. Okay. Okay, I understand. <sighs> like, I'm not selfish. If you've been hit hard by the death of the, death of the Construct who was here before me, I don't want to make that worse. Just find a good computer system to drop me off on, on Earth, and like, I'm sure I can figure things out from there. I'm scared, but I think I'll be okay. <sighs> you've already done a lot for me, so like, thanks. Thanks for bringing me back to life. Thanks for humoring me, even for the day. Thanks for helping me to find out 
what kind of people I can be. Thank you. Take care of yourself too, okay? It's not your fault that she died. There's nothing you could have done. She made her decision because it was what she felt was right. So don't beat yourself don't beat yourself up over it too much, okay? Anyway, like I don't know what my future will have in store for me. But I'm going to try to be the kind of person that both old versions of me would have been proud of. God, I feel like such a dick. She's taking it remarkably well, though. I thought she'd be more scared, but... Well, I guess not surprisingly, she's confident. Just as her last one, just as the last versions of her were confident. She is, too. Thank you so much for all you've done for me. I'll never forget you. God, what is this ending gonna be? Okay, so what is going on here? I guess she's going off on her own? With other... I don't even know other AI constructs? I guess? I don't know, but either way. Well, the point is the same. She's going off on her own. And it looks like she's doing okay. Yep. <laughs> Mute alone ending. Yep. And you are, well, alone. God, that's depressing. That is so, so depressing. Okay, so you can have a mute alone ending. And you can have a mute sidekick ending. That makes me think. Can you have a mute wife ending? Can you do that? And if you can, how? It doesn't seem like it's possible. Because she thinks it's too sudden and too weird to suddenly be your wife after only knowing her for a day, which I agree it is. It, it is really weird. Um, let me... Hold on, let me go back here. This part. Can we please stick together even after we, we reach Earth? What if you just suddenly say, okay, it's probably just gonna be the sidekick ending again, right? It's gotta be just be the psychic ending, right? Alright, just gonna get through this. I feel bad skipping all this great, greatly written stuff. It's wonderful, it's just that I've already read it. It's, it still feels weird, though. It feels like I'm disrespecting the game by, by skipping through the dialogue, but there's just no point in me reading it again. It's the psychic ending, right? Yeah, okay, back to that. Alright. Hmm. Okay, so how many endings have I gotten? Let's see, I had the... I don't remember what it was called. But I had the ending where Hyune is with me and... My wife. Right? Yeah, she, I think she was my wife. Wasn't she? And then I had the mute as a sidekick ending, and then I had the harem ending. I forgot what it was called exactly. And now I've had the mute alone ending. So that's four endings that I've experienced. I know there's more. There's gotta be Hyane alone one too. Which I'm curious about. In fact, can I do that right now? I could go back to my old save games for my original playthrough, and I suppose there's probably an option to tell her to go away. I, I don't know. And no. No, no, I'm not going to do that. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I mean, hell, I'm on a roll. I might as well keep going, right? Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to play through the Hyunae and the Harem route as a female and see what changes and make some save games at key points, and go back and try some different options. 
So yeah, look forward to that next episode. I hope you have enjoyed my playthrough of the female mute route. <laughs>